Okay, so in the last couple of videos, we brought our SVG graphics that we put together in Inkscape where we have lots of editing capabilities, uh, powerful 2D editing options. Brought those SVG graphics into Blender, made a 3D, uh, turned it into a 3D mesh, and added a skeleton to it. And we have, uh, and then parented, made the skeleton a parent of that skin mesh so that if we rotate this, it comes with it. But there's still a couple problems, so we need to make those adjustments. I'll escape out of that. Um, I'll go ahead and show this now, just a reminder. So if we move that, if we push Alt R, that resets us. So Alt R resets us all the rotations. So that'll get us back to the original, uh, the original spot as we try things. But we need to adjust how our how our or which parts of the skin are connected to which bones. So the computer can't quite figure that out, right? They're not intelligent. Computers aren't intelligent. So a, hum, a human needs to come through. So this can be a slow, uh, tedious thing. It well, not really tedious. Uh, uh, if you find it interesting, like doing animations, but uh, slow and take your time. It's one you definitely want to be careful with. So in the video, I'm going to pause. We'll go over the steps, and then I'll pause it while I do a lot of the work, and then, um, and then come back and look afterwards, because uh, it is one that you definitely want to take your time with and be very careful. So if, well, with nothing selected, let's see, we only have a couple options here on the, that. If we select the armature, our skeleton, our, we, have, we can go object mode, edit mode, or pose mode. So we're kind of limited there. If we select the mesh, well, there's a lot more options, including weight painting. So this is the one we want. We want to assign weights for the parts of the skin. At this, how much uh, a weight or uh, uh, some sort of weighting to connect for how much the skin needs to follow a particular bone. So we have to assign that. And we need both of them when we go in there. That way we can select bone by bone. And the order matters. Uh, so if we select the bones first and then the skin, then we have all those options. But if we select the skins first and then the bones, we have the bone options. So we want the skin options so we'll, we can get to that weighting. So we'll select the armature and then the mesh and then go into weight paint. And you'll see these different colors. So the colors are what's assigned to each bone. So with both of them select, as long as both of them are selected like that, if we hold shift and click on a bone, we can see what has been assigned to it. So like this bone um, looks like it moves most most of the forearm, a little part's missing. The hand bone, that was one that gave us a problem. So if I select the hand bone, notice that there's not really much selected. So we've got this radius, that's the little radius of this tool, set to a weight of 100, 100%. So if I just kind of drag around there and paint and drag and uh, I can add how much uh, a color coding, so that obviously red's a lot, uh, blue or black is virtually none. So now most of that hand skin has been assigned to that to that bone. So we'll just use a weight of one to add stuff, or we can drag this down to zero and take take stuff away. And we want to make each bone look like that. Just carefully assign what ballot, what part of the mesh is assigned to that bone. So now if we go back over to uh, optic mode, select our armature and go to pose mode. And if we select this bone and rotate it, now when we move our hand, that proper amount of skin comes with it. So we need to go through and do that for every single one. So select the, um, so in object mode, we want the skin tools. So select skin, then bones. Can I do that backwards? Oh, the other way. Select bones then skin and go to weight paint and hold shift to select a particular bone. So this looks like it's got mostly the forearm stuff. 
a little bit seems missing there, uh, but I think it'll all drag with it. And then we'll just check each bone individually like that. So shift and click the forearm. It looks like uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, I'll bring this in here, maybe decrease this radius just a little. Bring the weight up. Might be able to add a little bit of weight right there. Make sure that whole arm comes with it. And just carefully go through and make sure every bone applies to the right thing. So if I flip over to the other side, oh, upside down, but just like the forearm. So that looks good for the forearm. Uh, or the upper arm, then the forearm. That'll be okay. The hand, oh, there's not much coming with that hand. So I want to just drag around with the weight fully up to paint the part of the skin that I want to follow that hand bone. And I might not necessarily need this, so to take it away, drag that down to a weight of zero and repaint that to remove those sections. And then along the way, uh, after you make a couple changes, come back to object mode, select the armature so you can go in pose mode, and then try bending a bone are moving it back and forth and making sure the right part of the skin moves with each movement that you make. So the upper left arm seems to move to the left arm okay. Uh, the right arm, rot R to rotate. That'll work. Uh, forearm. And basically just check each one to make sure it works. And then remember to push Alt-R to reset that. So I'm going to go through and do all these bones uh, one at a time. I'll just pause the video while I do that. So uh, object mode, select uh, bone, skin, weight mode, and then one at a time, shift, select the bone to see what goes with it. It's like this bone should probably be the whole head. Let's turn the weight all the way up to add it, and then drag this around until the part we want to follow that head bone is all red. That'll work. And just doing that for each bone. So I will uh, be back in. I'll pause the video while I do that. This is a place to go slowly and carefully and make sure every bone has the right part. So here we can see nothing move. Nothing's going to come when we move the foot. And just get all that set up here. Take your time and be careful with it. Okay, so I just went through there and just one bone at a time. So if I select the head bone, we can see that much, that's the skin that's going to work with the head bone. So uh, then, and then we can tell from the color coding that it's going to get less down the neck. On the neck bone, just the neck move is going to stretch. Uh, the backbone, I didn't really adjust much, just a little bit there. Uh, coming down the legs, we have the upper legs. Then the lower legs are going to move that part. And then the feet, like the hands, we definitely want to make sure everything comes along there. And I also notice the shoe got a little off, so I'm going to go back in edit mode, and because we can get those vertices and edit that back to the correct position. Uh, then I guess the arms, the arm on the other side is right about the same, so uh, mostly upper arm for that bone, all the stuff in the middle for that bone, and then just real hand heavy on that bone. And the other arm is roughly the same. Can't really see the upper arm from here. I guess I can flip it over. And see it's all upper arm. So just take your time and carefully adjust what each, what part of the skin each bone is going to move. And I noticed this little shoe thing. So I'm going to go back to object mode. Select the skin. Go in edit mode. And kind of fix those vertices. If I go to the move tool, I can drag that in forward a little so that it's not uh, the weird shape there again. All right, so that assigned all the weights, and now we should be ready to do some animations. Uh, I'm going to save that. So if we select the armature so that we can go in pose mode. Uh, so you'll want to do this before... Starting on the animations, just start grabbing the bones, hit R, and make sure they move like you want them to. Then escape from that rotation or 
if you after moving it you can push alt r to reset the rotations and just kind of mess around with it a little and try to pick some positions that you're going to move the character character to for the animations and that way it'll go a lot quicker when we get over and start making the animations whoa why is the leg doing that on the neck um so back to object mode and yeah and to check for things like that uh so select bones then skin then weight paint and which one was that i think it was this one Is it this one Something in the leg there moved all this up here. So I'm going to set the weight to zero and make sure there's nothing selected. I don't see anything. But uh, that was kind of weird. And you'll just want to do a lot of tests like that and take your time and carefully get it set up. Make sure everything moves correctly and kind of pick some positions along the way. Uh, yeah, I've still got a little bit of cleanup and just make sure the right skin moves with the right bone. And then we'll be back in the next video to set up the animations. See you then. And yeah, while testing all this, uh, try to pick some positions that you think will work good for the animations.